taken a ride through the industrial, an, an industrial park and you see stacks of pallets sitting there for the taking, I decided to take one or two and let's do a project. I want to make a wine rack from these. So I selected two. I selected this one because I like the forklift cutout it has. We're going to cut the wine rack here and this is going to give it a little look and texture. This looked pretty clean. I selected this one because I did like the color of the wood and the shape of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to tear them apart. Let's do a project. Come on. Let's go make some sawdust and have some fun. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is um, pick out a good side. I'm going to pick up this side and I'm going to make a cut right at the forklift uh, cutout because um, we're going to use this as the uh, wine rack. So let's just... There's a hundred ways to cut this. Pick one and just do your best. Nothing wrong the old fashioned way. Alright, we do have the start where we're going to measure this, see that we can fit uh, maybe three to four bottles of wine in here. Our next step will be to pick which side we want. This side is kind of beat up a little bit so we're gonna go with this side so I'm gonna want to cut it right down here same thing use a handsaw jigsaw electric saw whatever works for you okay got some cuts but they're not quite clean so we're going to clean them up a little bit and make them nice. And um, we got the start of a very nice wine rack. All right, next we want to put a bottom on this. So I'm going to take the piece that we just cut. I'm going to rip these boards off and make them fit. This one looks cleanest. So let's see what kind of adjustment we're going to need. All right, we're going to take this to the same table saw and do some trimming. Okay, now that we got a bottom cut, here comes the tricky part. What we want to do is we want to remove this front piece. And what we want to do is raise it up here so that the bottles will sit here and we'll make glass holders on the bottom. So the tricky part is going to be to remove this without busting up these sides. So we've got to remove these nails. Okay, so now our plan will be to put our piece across like this. Put our floor on the bottom here. This way, this will hold the wine bottles. And then we're gonna take our other cross member and we're gonna place it down here. We're gonna make these glass holders. We're gonna cut slits so you can slide the glass. This way you can hold four bottles of wine, four glasses. So let's trim up this one. We gotta trim this one to make it fit and then cut our slots in it. For our glasses, what I did is I've measured the board. I'm going to cut a half inch slot so the glasses will just be able to slide in there. I've measured it so we can get four glasses. So I got four areas to cut out here. And then the glasses will just be able to slide right in there at the bottom. So let's go cut this section out. And again, any way you want, you want to use a jigsaw, circular saw, whatever works for you table saw cut it out I'm just gonna take a chisel and knock those out okay we finished our bottom piece where we will have so the glasses 
will just fit right on there and they'll just hold right in there. So what we'll do is take a rack, put this right up there. So we'll have the glasses here, we'll have a board across, we'll have the wine glasses there. So now the assembly stage, let's go put it together. So now here's what we're looking at. Wine in there. Glass down there. We got ourselves a nice little wine rack. Now is what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab a sander and touch it up, sand it up, uh, clean off the corners, and then we'll stain it and we'll have a great little gift. So our project is done. We finished our wine rack and I think it's gonna work just fine. We can always sample it by putting in some bottles of wine. And of course, we have the place for the glasses too. Now, I stained it. You don't necessarily have to stain it. You could paint it or do something else, but your glasses will conveniently fit down below. And you have a great present here. If I can find it. You have a great idea, great present. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. I'm Ken Deiniger with another Backyard Project. Now, we need to go out and enjoy one of these. Cheers. God bless, have a great day.